Animal Crossing is a go. Again, this may go up on YouTube. Possibly. Uh, Desert Island Getaway Package. Okay. Oh, I've missed their way of talking. Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Uh, get ready to rip a tear. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. If Doom Guy does show up, then maybe, but not here. This is Doom Guy's place where he goes to relax and 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 um, <laughs> share his skills, so the next generation can rip and tear when he's a little bit too old and needs to retire. Ah, uh, honestly though, the love between Doom and Animal Crossing has has held my spirit up through <laughs> the beginning of 2020. It has been the the most rarest and most beautifulest of romances. It has been awesome. I, I I loved it so much and so much. Like it just started as a meme, but then then the actual official accounts and it was like this is this is this is the romance. This is the one true pairing I have waited for all these years. All of the animes I've watched, those were just practice for the emotions that I am now feeling. Okay, so everyone, well done. You managed to skip, everyone who's joining right now, you managed to skip the 34 minute preamble. So, Timmy, good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. I don't remember signing the contract. The checking counter for your deserted island getaway package. I mean, I was going to say, if I was going to get away, I'd kind of want someone that was deserted, but actually, given the current situation, maybe I would want someone who was deserted. Timmy with Nook Inc. Timmy and Tommy. Marvellous. Uh, how do you recognise Timmy from Tommy? It's kind of like how you recognise Midna and Tally. You just get used to their personalities and then you can figure it out. Because there's no point in trying to get used to their colours because they change their coats depending on the season. Right, okay, so let me know how's the, uh, how's the general volume while we're going forward. We're flying the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it from the long haul, really. Plain puns. So let's get started, shall we? I think we should. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? <laughs> really? I love the way that Timmy is just, just uh, talking in it. It's so amazing. All right, I am, of course... Yeah. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local online play. So pick an appropriate name. It is appropriate, I promise you. There's nothing wrong with this name. Ah, wait, I, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I spelled my own name wrong. Uh, that would have been embarrassing because I can't change it. <laughs> Thank you for warning me, game. That was so, so about to be wrong. <laughs> My lord, you can tell it's been a long day. You can really tell it's been a long day. So close. You almost had me. Almost had me, chat. I know you would have all been happy with that. You would all have been happy with it. Don't even pretend. Are you okay with Havoc? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or, or offensive words. I, I promise. Day. Uh, okay, chat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna maybe give you my actual birthday only it won't be because you won't really know who knows really i could give you anything and say it's my actual birthday and then it would come down to do you believe that i'm a liar hopefully you don't hopefully you all know that that i'm not but then you have to ask yourself but are you the sort of person who wants your ball lies also know how easy it is with with the more more data points you get to, that you can cross-reference how easy it is to find someone online these days. And would your would your security sense outweigh your diaper sense? Well, you're just going to have to ha guess, really. You really will have to guess. Who knows? Is this my real birthday? Is it not? For this game, it is. At the very least. 
Vak, the spiffing Brit's version of Avak. Much like Avak, but perfectly balanced. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm glad you found me. The next step will be to take a picture of you. Oh, no. oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We're better when you are. You are. I, I love Tommy. Please never change Tommy. I mean... My style is clearly, as, as those of you can see on camera, is, is my hairstyle is much more like that right now, but... Donk. Okay. One day I would pay, pay money to watch Avag play Sims, just because the three years we would take to get him out of Creed Sim. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna go without any kind of flash. There we go. It's an important thing. And you know what? You guys on YouTube, you probably didn't see any of that. This is what we look like now. It's kind of a kind of a, a, a triangle nose, mischievous mouth. Uh, I, I don't know. It spends enough time to go to the hairdressers to get his hair cut rather than just let it grow out. Kind of guy. I, I don't know. An interior decorator, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe kind of, kind of a less bespectacled Hugh Fernley Whitkinston. Probably can cook quite well, actually. Knows how to prepare all kinds of seafood, and game. Can get his own game. Yeah. That flannel shirt tells me that this individual knows how to cook. 100%. Hey, Waterproof Bubbles, thank you so much for the tier 3 sub there. All right, Avak, it's your job on this subversary to convince me to not to, uh, to get this game. You can do it. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly certain I can, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to have to try. I'm just going to have to play the game, and you will get it. If you wanted me to convince you not to, that would be very hard without having to like, you know, basically ban you. You can't watch the stream, otherwise you'll buy the game. You're thrown by the lack of beard. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, that does, that does, that does hurt. Pardon me, but alas, none of us can be perfect. Uh, does everything look okay? Yes. We're going with this. Great. You're all set. All set. There is apparently fashion here. Don't tell me this. Erin, when I've made the character. <laughs> Just go ahead and add that picture to your records. Thank you. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the South... Oh, well, that's, a, that's an increase. It said you could change it, so maybe Babyface Ava can grow up later. I really hope so, because <laughs> I completely missed that. Uh... That is actually pretty cool, though. Northern Hem and Southern Hemisphere options. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal panel as your current home. Current home. So, tell me, Ava, where do you live now? Live now? Europe. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay for you so far? So far? Tommy, you... you are amazing. Uh, yes, it sounds fine. Very good. You have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. I'm very glad about that. Now featuring two hemispheres. More coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. About that. Just follow your... I love those flowers. Nice. My instinct is to choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. Well, I think you've, you're on to, on to something there. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home! I feel that I need, need Shilab in here doing that for me. Uh, okay, well, since this is also going to be Shilab's island, I feel that this choice involves her. So, Shilab, my, my short list is bottom left and top right. Bottom left has uh, more wibbly wobbly uh, going on. I like that. Top right has a bit more uniformity to the to the rivers. It actually has a few more like 
rivers snaking into the larger river. It also seems to have more dense, I don't know if the green color is like elevation, so lower elevation in the bottom right and higher elevation in the in the top left and towards the north, whereas down here you've got a weird little lake formation. In fact, you've got two lake formations. I guess you've got a lake over in top right, but in bottom left you've got a tiny bit of land in that lake. Hmm. That bo bottom right, you think? Am I getting my, my tops and my... I'd, ah! Did I get left and right wrong? Wait, let me use my hands. No. No. This is bottom left. Okay. Haha. <laughs> no, bottom left. Sorry, it's my fault. Oh, no. Have you caught my, my issues? I've rubbed off on Lady Sheila. It took a couple of years, but finally she's mixing up her left and right. Uh, hmm, my game offered quite different layouts. Are these generated randomly? Yeah, they're probably generated based on some seed made of your name and birthday and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I think the idea of an island on our island is amazing. I swear, left and right and sentient, and they keep switching places to mess you up. I would not be surprised. I mean, that's not true, but I wish it were. Uh, question is, what Sheila business did I have it pick up? Well, <laughs> Dirty Rascal is definitely a Sheila -ism. And can't do X for toffee is another Sheila -ism. But we're going with this one. No, I don't need to reconsider. We have made up our mind. Wonderful choice. Choice. Can't wait to show it off to you. I can't wait to see it. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. Oh, you look sad. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Uh, I, oh, I thought you were going to let me type it in. I was absolutely going to type a kettle full of tea. Something to kill. Oh, I'm so glad I said kill time. I was like, wow, the crossover between Doom and, and this really went full bore. Um... Well, the deserted island has plenty of water, so I, the, uh, assuming it is deserted, there's probably not uh, not humans polluting it, but there's no guarantee there'd be fish. But even if I took food, f if I couldn't get back off the island, realistically speaking, the food would only last me for a certain amount of time. Um, and I can't tell that just because the map is green that there is actually vegetation there. I mean, obviously there's going to be, it's an Animal Crossing game. But if we're talking about this purely from the perspective of surviving, food isn't the way to go. If I can't make more food when I get there, I'm already dead. And if I need more than like three or four days to do it, I'm probably already dead. Uh, so yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Food will just buy me time and uh, no. Uh, I, I I can easily fast for a couple of days, so that should give me plenty of lead time. Something to kill time. Uh, maybe a DS with Animal Crossing. Uh, a lamp. I'm good with starlight, thanks. If if it's a deserted island, we won't have light pollution either. A sleeping bag to keep me warm during those those cold cold nights. Yep. <laughs> sleeping bag for insulation. Oh, sorry, did not mean caps. Okay, okay. Uh, the Toric. <laughs> Ah, uh, assuming Avak and Sheila have ever tired of this game, I'd like to see them try Room Factory 4. I suspect they'd like the farming and wacky townspeople. Is that Room Factory Frontier? Because I'm fairly certain that is Room Factory Frontier, and if it is, I adore that game. I've bought it on, like, two different consoles. I bought... Oh, yeah, I got it on the GameCube. Then I got it on the Wii. And then... I migrated that to the Wii U. <gasps> Room Factory 4 special release on Switch? If that is Room Factory Frontier, oh my lord. Room Factory 4. They recently put it on Switch. Oh, okay, so it's not Room Factory Frontier. Nah, much sadness. I love that one. Uh... This is, uh, I'm sure Room Factory 4 is still quite cool, though. I think I'm going to go with the sleeping bag. It's fine. If, there, if there's material that I can make fire with, I'll be able to do it with a lamp or without a lamp. I know how things work. <laughs> I say, and then it rings, and it's like, well, poop. Maybe the lamp would have been a good idea. How interesting. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. What? You made me wonder about it so much? Ah, oh, you. Timmy, you scoundrel. Tommy, why didn't you give me a heads up? Man. Look, Ink will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Surface announcement. I love how they're looking up into <laughs> the chat bubble. The charter flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Good evening, Dagnol. Oh, Dagnol. Dagnol? What am I saying? Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together! I'm glad you're coming, Tommy. Good evening to you as well. I'm very pleased to be on this charter flight. Thank you for having me. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Very well. Are you paying attention, Sheila? It's Battle Royale. Oh no. Well, all I'm going to have is a sleeping bag. That's going to be awkward. What are you doing to that tree? Glad I turned the camera off. Because right now I've had to take my glasses off to clean them and I'm just squinting at the screen like a mole. Oh, pretty. Oh, super pretty. Oh, my lord. Postcards. Workshop postcards. Seasonal event postcards. Fishing postcards. Aquarium postcards. Oh, that was a really pretty postcard. I like that one. Super much. It doesn't look very deserted to me. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. <laughs> the Toric. That's a super good point. I was I was sold on this because it was a deserted island. What are these shenanigans? But yeah, I I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I would have gotten Animal Crossing no matter what was going on in the world uh, right now. But this is a perfect time for a game like this. Because Animal Crossing is pretty much impossible to not take casually. The game all but forces you to be casual about everything you do in it. And it is the most relaxed experience you can possibly have. So I'm very, very happy to be able to share it with you at the moment. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Will you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Why is it so light? I did select northern, didn't I? I'm absolutely certain I selected northern. I removed it seven times to try and get apples. Oh no. Well, Ginger from Gallifrey, if anyone wants my friend code, so you can come over and grab some of my apples and then plant them in your, your place, then uh, you just have to let me know. It's not going to be a problem. I'm probably not going to do it necessarily for this first stream, but uh, no, absolutely. That will be a thing that we can do. Oh, it's tutorial day. Oh, thank goodness. Woo. Time sinks after the tutorial. Good, 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 good. But yes, I, I will be 100% down. We we will probably end up getting a uh, a little uh, Animal Crossing channel on the Dapper Dell Discord, by the way. Hash, uh, sorry, not hashtag. Uh, exclamation mark Discord in chat right now. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, down in the video description, uh, then we I, I strongly imagine we're all going to be exchanging friend codes and just, you know, visiting each other's islands. Oh, Peach is fantastic. And by the way, if this still works like it did on the DS, whatever fruit you've got in your town, yeah, that gets you a decent price when you sell it. But if you've got a fruit from a different town, you're getting a premium on that because that's not native to your island or, well, to your part of wherever. Oh, this is fantastic. Everyone, everyone's got different fruit. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Everyone who, who's a dabbling is just going to have the most wicked mad orchard. It's going to be fantastic. Belial has demons. Oh, you're playing Doom, Belial. 
my lord. It's very different. You don't grow the demons on trees either. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. I'm going to try not to. We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move, use the left stick to follow us. Ah, look at that horizon, though. Oh, so good. Hello, by the way. Hi. Talk later. Jog now. Let's go. We've got Hamlet. Hello, Hamlet. Ah. No, no, come back. Oh, this is almost a Naruto run. It isn't quite... I'm not leaning forward quite enough for it to be a Naruto run, but almost. Hello, Tammy. We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Okay. Go on then, Hamlet. Hello, Nook. Or can I t call you Tom? Are, are we on first name basis yet? Can I just stand here or do I need to actually go and talk to you? There we go. Hey, Leafin, how are you doing? All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Tammy here? And how about Hamlet? And there's Avak, of course. We all whistled to say the, that. That was amazing. That's like signing your name with an X. <laughs> Launching Doom Eternal now. <laughs> Enjoy. Let us know if Isabel shows up. Bunny Babbitt has pears. Oh, well, her husband is playing on theirs right now and has pears. Fantastic. But yeah, I strongly imagine that YouTube and, in fact, Twitch is downgrading things. Um, by the way, I did find out what was going on with the 1080p stuff on Twitch yesterday. That was a new setting in OBS. I had updated OBS just before the stream, and it had added in a new option, which had never existed for NVENC encoding. Previously, NVENC, were, you couldn't upscale or downscale NVENC. It just recorded at whatever you were recording at and sent that. Um, but now it's added a lot more functionality to NVENC encoding, so that's where that came from. I looked at all the correct places for, well, the, the previously correct places for the scaling options, and they were all um, unchanged. But there was now new options, so that was the problem there. Though, yeah, that is the thing that I meant to check on. Oh, dear. I, I am a, I am Skylight. Don't worry. At some point, I'm going to have to go and get a drink, and I'll quickly pop up there and make sure your OBS is sorted, <laughs> Lady Sheila. Thank you very much for the uh, subscription there, Norman All. Thank you very much for the 20 months, mate. Work from home and watch a relaxing stream on the side. Thanks for the calm voice, Epic. Well, I, I hope that I can, uh, I can aid you in keeping productive and not distract you too much. Okay. Right. Drinking with the Joy-Cons attached to my wrists. A little bit more awkward than I had expected. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Ah, you know what? I have actually missed your, your dulcet tones, Tom. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal. Hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, the mortgage. No, no. No, that's not what he said. That's what he's thinking, though. Maybe he's hooks in your room. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. And also getting a house and a mortgage. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and mortgages. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Can't mortgage the tent, but don't worry, you'll upgrade soon. Mortgage. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Well, you've got a flag. So, instantly more trustworthy. Also more more of a conqueror. Oh, I'm glad it's Tommy. Here you go. I was hoping, though, that you'd kind of talk, that, that, that Timmy might actually kind of talk in a small voice when you were talking. It's a very own tent. Where did you pull that from? Oh dear. 
Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory. Then select your tent to place it. Thank you. Don't worry. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. That would be helpful, yeah. Where did I put the tent? Hmm. Once you've put, your tent, uh, put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Thank you, Tommy. Well, before I go... Thank you very much, Tom. That was a wonderful presentation. I'm afraid I'm just as new to this island as you are, so I can't offer any recommendations quite yet. And I do have one more small favour to ask. Please don't pick up anything from the ground. And please don't shake the trees either. No, no. The proper waivers must be signed first. Hmm? Well, I'm very glad that I talked to you then, given that, because I 100% would have been shaking the trees. Wondering how much space your tent is going to take up? Try to imagine five folks standing side by side. That's how wide it is. Oh, and about three folks deep. That is super helpful. Thank you. Can I interact with things? No, I can't interact. I wasn't trying to pick her up though, Tom. I hope you believe me. I was just trying to uh, to turn turn her on and see what I could do with it. Uh, well, that's my tent. No, 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 no. I don't want to build my tent there. I want the map. Oh, the map's down in the bottom. Right. I just need to stop. Uh, I want to go over there, by the island in, on the island. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Probably loads of seashells too. Did I just... Oh, it was, it was one of those little... I forget what their names are. Can I cross? Oh, no. I forget the... Oh, there we are. Hello. Oh, I can't, can't interact with you. But um, little creatures that live under the sand. And uh, when the when the tide washes up and you're standing there barefoot, you can feel them wriggling around underneath your feet. You move your feet back and you can just see little dimples in, in the in the sand where they were. You don't hurt them by standing there. You just, and they just wriggle a little bit. But uh, I, I don't think it's uh, breathing or anything like that. But um, it feels very, very weird in a comforting way. Okay, well, I can't put my dent. Oh, anyway. Oh, this is awful. Hmm. Can I not get over there in any way? Because I super want to live on that side. Man, that's kind of annoying. I wanted to live next to the... You're going to ask me, am I sure where I want to live? And no, I'm not. I want to live next to the island. The island by... The, the island in the middle of uh, of the lake on the island. Your... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. Your other... Right? See, I told you I had it. Don't tell me. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. You heard? Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. It is, actually. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this island, at least we'll be neighbours. Well, that's a lovely way of thinking about it, Tammy. Hello, Hamlet. Yo, I'm Hamlet. You're Abak, right? Nice to meet you, Hammy. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul, Hammy. Marvelous. I approve. Okay, well, uh, I could pop one right here. It's a nice spot. Or I could put it over by the junction of the rivers. I'll probably give some nice fishing opportunities later. And I could have a little little waterfront property. I mean, I could put it down by the actual waterfront, but... I think maybe here we'll do. What do you think, chat? By the by the joining of the three 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 rivers? You know what? We could call this, this island Abatridur. Or Abatridur. Uh, Abatridur, my lord. I sound like my father. Uh, <laughs> Abertrudur is, is Welsh for, well, I mean, Aber is a, is a merging uh, of rivers and, and Tridur is, is three waters, so it's literally a place where three rivers meet. I like it. Uh, okay, we'll plump it down just about here. 
built here. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Let me imagine it. Oh, that's fantastic. This is a good spot. Yeah, I think so. I've got a very vivid imagination. Oh, look how happy I was! Oh, that, that's basically what the ferrets do when, they, when they've when gotten away with being naughty. They just do a little dance. They don't even weasel war dance and bounce around. They just stamp their feet like they're just so full of excitement they don't know how to do anything. Set up my tent. That's a big first step. Okay. Oh, so many, so many pili palas. This game was made for people like you. <laughs> I take that as an enormous compliment. Thank you. First time I've ever seen an Animal Crossing. The avatar reminds me of Mies from Nintendo Wii. Yeah, yeah, and they've always looked like this. I wouldn't be too surprised if the 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 Mies and stuff like that were inspired by by Animal Crossing. Ah, oh that. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Thank you very much, Tom. Hello. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble, because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed the stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So, now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Uh, nah, if you want to live amongst the trees and where that stick landed, if that's the way you're going to solve, solve the, you know, difficult decisions, just throw a stick. I Honestly, it's, it's more effective than quite a lot of other ways that you can solve decisions. <laughs> Certainly better than worrying, at the, at the very least. It looks good to me. For real? You heard? Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little bit. If I put my tent here... Looks nice, doesn't it? It looks great. <laughs> Let me show up. I think that's how I will choose my spot later. Just throw a stick. Awesome, from now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's going to be my home, sweet home. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, I do need to take a moment to just give an enormous uh, apology and thank you very much for your patience everyone who's subscribed and uh, cheered and, and everything in the last little while because I've been so focused uh, thank you very much to Bad Boy Rune for the 8 months thank you very much to Normanol for the uh, 20 months, I did catch you earlier, but uh, I, yeah, I double thank you is fine. Superwoman, thank you very much for the raid. There we are. I think that's everyone. Uh, Ankwave, thank you very much for the 22 months. It wasn't everyone, actually. Aha, first stream I've been able to catch in a while. Hope things have been going well. I'm so sorry that I missed your message. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Wolf Reborn, thank you very much as well. Uh, and then we're down to the Mad Irishman. I think I've caught everyone before that so let me know if i haven't and uh first and foremost i will feel incredibly guilty for a little while and i'll probably uh probably you know have an existential crisis but once the guilt is passed i will then say thank you i wonder how that hamlet guy is doing he might be having as much trouble as i was maybe you should go and see if he needs help too i will do just that You already set up a tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I've been doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think? Well, it's actually quite close. Um, maybe reconsider? Yeah, you're right. This is important. I should flex my brain and think real hard about where I want to live. Have you thought? I've got to give him time to flex those brain muscles. He wants a nice open space. This is pretty open. It's quite close to me, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Actually, no, it's about equal distance between all of us. 
Oh, you'd have a house on the beach front. You could go running in the sands. You couldn't get more open and cardiorific than this. Clam! Also rocks. You walk up on the rocks and pose. Uh, hello, little scuttlebugs. You could look out into the horizon. You could be dreamy if you felt in a more of a romantic mood. You could, you could be stoic if you... Uh, well, honestly, that's that's equally romantic. It, it just depends on who's watching, really. Different people will find different things romantic. But yeah, def definitely. Stoic more more for for dusk. Not not in the middle of the day. Dreamy in the middle of the day. Looking out at new horizons, imagining what, what could be and what will be. Stoic. As, as night is, is, is closing in and, and the failing light of twilight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sing a silence, siren song. Yes, you could. You could also drown sailors if you really, really wanted to. I don't think you should, though. My gut tells me this spot is pretty awesome. And my gut is the smartest spot in my bot. Do, do I trust it? Or should I pick somewhere else? What do you think, Avak? I'll find you a spot. What? You'll help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Wow, we just met. You're already doing some heavy lifting in our, on our friendship, Ava. Okay then. Can't wait to see the epic spot you picked for me. My tent is in your hands, Hammy. You got this. You need me? I'll be over the plaza, visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. You would trust me? Wow. Hammy? You're an inspiration to us all. You only just met me and you've given me this enormous, enormous weight of responsibility. You believe in me that much. Thank you, Hammy. Uh, I think over here. So Hammy can go running on the beach. Let's try and get the, the nice spot there. Donk. Yeah. I need to imagine it, though. Is Ham Hammy's, uh, is Hammy, I keep calling him Hammy, that's his, that's his, that's his catchphrase, that isn't his name. Yeah, I think so. A little, little space for some gardening out to the side and then, then the beach. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Adelphalfish, how are you doing, mate? hannah has got a place for his tent now. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. Checking into the ocean? Ranger, you scallywag. How can you be such a scallywag while watching such a, 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 a frankly terrifyingly cute game? My lord. Dark Avak playthrough, right? No! Get out of here with your summoning of the Eldritch One. My lord. The cult rises again. No! No! I'm playing Animal Crossing. If you manage to turn this into a Dark Avak cult, I don't know what to say. You are literally beyond redemption at that point. No! No tasty noms either! Oh my goodness! What has happened? You were all such sweet children once. What went wrong? Actually, that is a lie. Some of you were never sweet. But you weren't out and out evil. We need more not more. Uh, medians rip cute animals. No, don't, don't you join them. My lord. Uh, welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming, warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Oh, I like this. I'll just need a few supplies to get started. Since we'll all be living here, this will be good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Tammy, Tommy, and Hamlet. Wow. Hamlet, you combo breaker. Hammy would have would have almost sufficed. But wow. Such a combo breaker that. Do you feel bad? I feel bad on your behalf. Meanwhile, I've, I mean, I, I don't know why I'm giving you shade. I'm much worse in terms of the combo breaking there. Uh, I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Oh, this is marvelous. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Ava, would you come see me for a moment? Sure. Is this when you slap me with a mortgage? 
I'm on to you, Tom. That's why I'm approaching cautiously. Ah, Avak, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches to do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Okay, that sounds nice and easy. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real apples. Ah, <laughs> uh, everyone in chat who doesn't have apples is like, don't rub it in, Tom, you scoundrel, how dare. Okay, let's go get branches. Yoink. I wonder if Lady Shelab's going to have to do the same thing. What if Lady Shelab starts on a different part of the island? Oh, Lady Shelab, if you if you get given the part of the island with the the if you just like yeah oh yeah you can start over here with the 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 lake and the island in the island ah I'm gonna be so jelly. If this was a dark apple run, it would be apples <laughs> with air quotes. Do a polar for the snuffles there. Let's grab a couple more. How many have I got? Nine. Need one more. No, 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 no. No, what have I done? Damn it. Can I not merge them again? I don't seem to be able to. There we go. Right, I'm gonna have to mute myself just for a second. I'll be right back. I return. Fear not. Just needed a cough. You can drag them around. Oh, fantastic. Can I just like uh, go? Kapow! Aha! Thank you! Scholar and a gentleman there. Maybe this is what happens in Dark Avic's head all the time. This is what he... Uh, <laughs> will you imagine? Are you, are you... In your head canon, is Dark Avic basically the pyro? Is he all just in a, in a lovely wonderland of rainbows and, and, and chocolate fountains and, and, and uh, candy babies? And in the real world, he's just chopping people up and being this dour, you know, devil presence. But in his head, it's just wonderful. And it's just songs and sunshine and birds. And everyone is happy all the time. And he is happy because everyone else is happy all the time. And there's just this complete disconnect. Wow. That would be Yoko in this case. Uh, well, Yoko would just be Yoko. Yoko is perfect as she is, and always was, and always will be. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches. Very well. Allow me to lighten your load. Yes, yes. That would be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. <laughs> because you'll be able to pay your mortgage faster, which means I can give you a bigger mortgage, and then you'll pay that one off, and then a bigger mortgage. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. I thought that was your job. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples. They smell like apples. And they even taste like apples. You ate one? In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine apples. So, will you collect six of them for me? Yes, not Ogre. I will collect six of the... Looks like apples, smells like apples. Maybe you are apples. Now, I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a tree growing apples, you can press A to shake it. Then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of apples for us in no time. Looks like apples, smells like apples, tastes like apples. They are ducks. <laughs> well, you know, summit, summit, maybe. Can I? I would like to shake this tree. 
Oh, that was B. Bonk. Thank you. Bonk. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I was too amused by the the fact that the Tom almost sounded like Ogre from Dark Crystal for a moment there, and I didn't pay attention to how many apples we needed. So chat, I rely on you to stop me before I literally get all of the apples on every tree. Six. Okay, well I've already gone too far. We'll we'll call it at nine. There we go. Six six six, no! Mimsy. This is not a dark havoc run. I picked a 12. Wow, I was I was paying so little attention and, and so focused on the Ogre parallels that I didn't actually even count. My dear lord. I got twice as much, just in case we want dessert. Oh well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those apples off your hands and get started on the preparations. I was half expecting this to seem go chomp. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Very impressive. I didn't even see flint and steel. He just rubbed his hands together until it caused heat. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Wow, that was a heroic post. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm. <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have the rise to the challenge. Don't worry, Sheila will be joining us later. And I have no doubt, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this desert island into... Uh, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. Hmm. But what should we call it? Oh! Ha 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 ha! I see. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it into a vote. Majority rules, hmm? <clears throat> well, yeah, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. So, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay. Okay. Dark Avactopia. No! Avakikikikiki. Dapper Island. Tom is actually super chill, in my opinion. <laughs> he kind of is. Ferret Land. Oh, I like that one. Island McIsland Face. Dessert Island. <laughs> that might actually be a funny one. Well, to be fair, I'm sharing this island with Lady Sheila. And again, for those who aren't aware, once I wrap up the stream, Lady Sheila will, uh, or rather, just before I wrap up the stream, Lady Sheila will start uh, her stream in just chatting. And then when I raid her, I'll be taking my switch upstairs so she can create the character and they'll be on the same island. Isle Daperia. No, that's not too bad. Is it is it called Isle or is it Isla? Isla? I'm not sure how, how you would pronounce that. Teapotia. Teetopia. Tilly's Dreamland. A raid in a raid. Nice, indeed. Oolong Peninsula. Long Pork Paradise. No, this is not a dark out. Don't be naughty now. I, I told you, Lady Shelby's only going to stream if, you, if, if you're... Um, if you're well behaved. Lesser Britain? No, I, I hope not. Dapper Land. Dapperton. Dappertopia. Oh, I like that one. How about Dapper Valley? Sheila, I need input. Is Sheila even here? Has she scurried off? I mean, if she's scurried off, she loses her choice. Dapper Dream Isle. Oh, that's lovely. And that mixes, mixes the, the, the dream web that your community has. I like it. 
This is going to be awesome. Let's hope I can fit it. No! I could call it Dapper Dream. You have failed me, game. Oh no, I can't. Balls. Uh... Hmm. Ten characters is so short for a name. Let's think. We could go with Dapper Web. You know, the whole the whole, the whole thing. Uh, well, we could we maybe maybe we could do the whole the whole avatars thing. Lady Sheila's avatar is is a spider. Mine is a dragon. We could have something along those lines. Um. Hmm. Dreamdale. Oh, Dreamdale is good. Well done, chat, to the rescue. How do you feel about Dreamdale, Lady Sheila? That was fantastic. Dreamdale is such a good one. I approve. And it sounds so pr pretty as well. I'd want to live somewhere called Dreamdale. Are you okay with Dreamdale? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or other uh, or offensive words. It's fine. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready, go. Awesome Beach, Swoleville. <laughs> wow, I missed uh, Bellevue, I think it was, and I missed uh, Tommy's. Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now, for the voting, I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Avax seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Avax suggested Dreamdell. Wow. Unanimous vote. That's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. Well, I didn't, actually. I hated my own choice. Maybe I don't get a choice. I mean, Swoleville was pretty good. I'm, I'm going to give it that. <laughs> uh, I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Dreamdale. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Dream Down. Oh, that was actually really cute. For a moment though, there, though, I thought, wow, is this actually going to be democratic? Are we going to just keep, keep going around until we get a majority vote? <laughs> that would be so funny if it was like, I've spent all this time picking a name that fits, and then we end up with Swoleville. I wouldn't even be mad. I would find that hilarious. I really would. Hey, Snowbird, I finally got my copy. Well done. Later on, we are probably going to have a massive friend code swaparoo on uh, Dapper Dell Discord. Uh, I will prep a uh, chat room for that, uh, probably when I wrap up the stream. Although maybe if I slip off or get some tea or something, I'll do it then. And uh, we we will start being able to, to swap around fruits and things like that. So, oh, it's going to be great. We're going to have the big old dappling and, and 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 i still don't know what the name of your community is lady she lab funny babbit thank you very much for four months of prime and can she loves empire of eviscerate no <laughs> i like the reference though but no don't be naughty it was democratic they they were forced to vote for first choice whatever it was uh, i mean it may be democratic if they were forced. Well, Avak, since you've proven yourself by naming Dreamdale, 
I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes. I hereby name you the resident representative of Dream Dell. Oh, fantastic. Do I get, like, like uh, uh, do, I, do I get a hat or, or a pin or... I don't know. Do I get a staff? Uh, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbours? Uh, <laughs> God, but... Oh, my Lord. I, I can feel my the muscles around my core tensing in in an effort to resist. Oh my lord, it is so hard, it's so hard. Uh, so hard. I mean, I'd like to introduce myself, and I'd like to let them know they they can count on me, but um, literally. I can't resist, no. <laughs> hmm. So, we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gone rather late. So let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? Is this an apple juice smoothie? It's fresh juice made from apples. Our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Dreamdell and the happiness of his resident. And this is so ridiculously silly. I actually picked up my drink and I'm toasting along with my other hand. Why am I so inf easily influenced by games? My lord. Cheers! Yechida! Uh, that was awesome. Oh, Hamlet, you're providing music? This is brilliant. I am truly happy with this. Truly, truly happy with this. It's not tea, but it's okay. I've actually... The thing is, I have apple juice. Warm apple juice. Right here. It is the nectar of the gods. I didn't want to squeak in your ears, though, while I was doing it. So I just finished the drink I already had. But I do actually have apple juice. Maybe I should have drunk that. It would have been more auspicious. Okay. All right, well, let's have a look around then. Also, I want to talk to, to Hamlet. Having fun? I'm going to kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight, Hammy. Now, time is real time. It's going to be night time here, because it's night time for me, basically. Well, you know, it's not really night time. It's only half past nine, but... I've never settled on an island before. Dreamdale. This is gonna be rad, you heard? And you're gonna have to get used to me saying heard and heard in different ways. Look, it's not my fault, okay? I've got a problem. You handled your task perfectly. We got a nice campfire going. Ah, Avak, having a good time, yes? I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, maybe I'll go do that. Uh, I'm not tired yet. Yes, yes. I should have known you would have plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Ah, before you do that, though, there is something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. I will do. Can I interact with this now? Don't appear to be able to interact with it. Still got some apples, though. Can I... I can't... Oh, I can! Ha-ha! <laughs> Time to clean up the island. These are clumps of weeds. I can plant them. No, thank you. Nope. Cleaning up the island. At least around this little area. I'm not going to clean up the whole island. What would Lady Sheila do? And yes, I just managed to make leaving someone else work to do sound like I'm being generous. 
It should be in politics. Mm -hmm.